Hey kids, so good to see all of you and welcome to another preschool message. And uh, we got such a good lesson today and it's about sharing. Oh, that can be a difficult word, sharing. You hear it a lot, and, uh, but uh, we definitely have some difficult, uh, difficulties in sharing. So we're gonna listen to see what uh, Miss Leah, Miss Kelly, Mr. Aaron have to say about sharing. And we're also gonna see what the Bible says about sharing. So let's get into some worship and then uh, I'll see you guys at the end. God loves us and he gave his
No, that's my toy! But I want to play with it too. No, but I didn't play with it first. But I want to play with it too! Miss Leah! Can you solve this? I was playing with the cars first, and Mr. Aaron there are two cars and two people. That means one car for one person each. Well, did you know when you share, that's like you're you're loving like Jesus? What? Yeah. Do you guys want to hear a story about it? I, I think do. it will really help. Does Ollie tell it? He does. Oh, of course then. Okay, let's spread our wings. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. You guys are sharing your toy. You are such good friends. Oh, speaking of friends, hey everybody, I'm Carrie the dog walker and I am so glad to see you. I'm here with my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friend, Goldie. Say hello, guys. <laughs> well, today we are talking about the number one most important thing we could ever do. This is big, drum roll please. The number one most important thing is to love like Jesus. Yes, loving others like Jesus is the best thing we can do. How do we love like Jesus? Well, I have some stories about Jesus that show us. One time, there was a man who couldn't walk and he needed help. And so Jesus helped him walk. Helping our friends is one way we can love like Jesus. If they're sad, we can help cheer them up. If they need help learning to play a game, we can help teach them. We show others we love them when we help them. Another time, Jesus was teaching a lot of people and they all got hungry, but all they had were two fish and five loaves of bread. Jesus prayed and thanked God for the food and shared the food with over 5,000 people. That's a lot of people. Sharing with our friends is another way we can love like Jesus. If we have an awesome snack, we can share it. If someone wants to play with our toys, we can give them a turn. We show others we love them when we share with them. There's one more thing I wanna tell you about Jesus. One time, some people brought a woman to Jesus and were saying mean words about her. Jesus chose to love her and was kind to her. Saying kind words is another great way we can love like Jesus. We can say thank you when someone helps us. We can tell someone they look nice today or make them laugh. Saying kind words can really make someone feel loved. So that's it, friends. We can love like Jesus. We can help, we can share, and we can say kind words. And do you know when we can start? <gasps> right now, we got the green light. So start your engines and let's go, go, go and love like Jesus. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'm going to go love others now. Bye. So, just like our story, they all shared, the little boy shared all of his food with Jesus and they showed Jesus' love by sharing with all the other people. So sharing your toys with Mr. Aaron just so he can play with you is like you're sharing Jesus' love with him. Seems like a good idea, right? Well, Miss Leah has a good point. But there are two cars. I'll give you one of them. Nice. Go ahead. Roll it down the track. Sharing can be hard. You know, as kids, it's not something that we necessarily want to do. Sharing with your brothers and sisters, sharing with your classmates, sharing with your parents, sharing with your teachers. You know, we get something and we want to hold on to it so tight. You know, a lot of times babies' first words, some of their first words are, mine, mine, I want it. Like they just want to keep it. And then it's like, can I have it? Mine. And we need to learn 
to let that go and, and, and allow it to be not just yours, but someone else's. And Jesus was the amazing example of that. He could have come in, I mean, he was God, he could have come in and he could have been like, mine, 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 mine. But instead, he continued to do things to show people that he was not here to take, but he was here to give. And he wanted to be that example for us. I mean, that example of feeding 5,000, which I'm sure you guys know that story. He, he didn't have very much food and he was able to share and feed 5,000 people. And all through the Bible, there are stories of Jesus sharing. He could have just been like, I got my food, well, worry about yourselves. But no, he was always looking out for someone else. And, and so that's what I want you to do. I want you guys to start to think about other people first. We talked about it in, in taking turns last week, but now we're talking about it in sharing. So I know in your classrooms and I know in right now around, you know, we have rules for sharing, but with your family, you can start there and share. So when, you're, when you get that bowl of ice cream, when you get that cookie, maybe we break it in half and give half to our brother or, or sister. We see if our, our parents wanna share with us. But I want us to start to ask like, would you like some? Can I give you some of this? And we wanna make sure that we are sharing. So let's work on that today and the rest of this week. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that you have such an amazing story always. And that story today is about sharing. Let us not be uh, the ones that are quickly to say mine, but that we would allow it to be yours, that we would allow it to be someone else's, that we would be willing to give, not just take. And so Lord, help us today not be so quick to take, but be very quick to give. And we love you so much in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, Amen. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Are you ready to practice this month's memory verse? Ooh, I am. Okay, let's go. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Can we do it one more time? But fast. <gasps> Super fast. Oh, totally. Ready? Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Ooh, good job. Nice job. Okay, keep practicing. Bye-bye.